There's no sickness today. <laughs> Check one, two, check one, two. Do a little bit of mic check action while we get ready for things to start here in Holbrook. See how far of a lag we have on the live stream. Check, check, one, two. One more time with the mic check, getting things ready. Officials on the field, people are on the sidelines. We're going to get things started here in just a few minutes. I think we're close to four. Yeah, it's almost four. We need somebody to run the clock. Other than that, we're getting close. All right, guys, if this is too loud, you're going to send me a text, 928-251-0005. If this is too loud, let me know. We're getting ready to get things started. We've got one set of alphabetized rosters, and so we're going to we're gonna do what we can for you. We'll try to let you know who's going. All right, we're going to see if we can get you captains today for the Round Valley Elks. I see number two. I see Cage Finch. I see number 40, Rustin McBride. I believe I saw number 68, who is Tyler Williams. And there's one more of the Round Valley Elks that I can't see yet on the Holbrook side. Again, it's alphabetized, so bear with us. I got number 15, who is Tilden Larson. We got number five, is Justin. And number 68, looking for number 68. Aramis Coronado. Welcome to the party. I said, hey, you got somebody running? 
on the clock. Uh, we're trying to figure it out. Will you will you pull down that camera just a little bit? The other one. See how it it's super loose because of that tape. If it's all in there, then leave it. Oh, there's just nothing else on. Yeah, you're good. Well, ridiculously close to the microphone. I almost don't need a mic. Sorry, I was getting my stuff ready. Not sure who's doing what in there, but we've got eight minutes on the clock. Round Valley's ready to go. Fun fact, I want to say it was 1997. This is where I played my first game ever in seventh grade. Right here. Class of 2002, Round Valley Elks started their football situation off right here against the Holbrook Roadrunners in Holbrook. I love the location. I'm not gonna lie, I love the, the nice and settled. It is toasty though, not gonna lie to you there. Brown Valley appears to be kicking. Deep to receive, we have two of the Holbrook Roadrunners. We got number one, Adrian Stump, and I believe that was number 88 then, Isaiah Harris. Guys, we didn't have a lot of notice on this one, so hit that share button, let your friends and family know that we're live here on Love Go Elks. It's seventh grade football. Here in Holbrook. Grand Valley Oaks kicking team getting set. Go Jake! It is Jake. It is number 23. We've got Jake Espana Wiltbank getting ready to kick it. Rustin told me everybody calls him Espana on the team. Now Sterling, yep, am I wrong? Is this Jake? First play First of American place. football ever, First right here. Play, man. Let's hope he doesn't screw it up. <laughs> Jake, Jake is legitimately from Spain. They play a different kind of football over there. As long as he kicks it with his foot, we'll be all right. Let's see what happens. Here we go, guys. It's going to be on the 39-yard line. Elks defense is going to come onto the field. offense on the field. Grand Valley's defense getting set. See Mr. Brody Crick over here on the far side. Cage Finch in the backfield for the safety. Grand Valley lined up with four in the front. Let's go out. We're going to go with first down. Okay, I like that. And a whistle. Patient center from the shotgun. Colbert's got one in the backfield with him. Claps for it, hands it to number 30. Number 30 around the left side. Brought in the backfield by an Elks defender. They'll try to get you a number. Carry was by number 30 for the Hopeless Roadrunners. Baller Reedhead. No, we don't have a 31. Nice read by the Elks defense. Second. 11 in some. Colbert oh, lined up from the shotgun. Oh, oh, from the backfield, stiff arm though. Number 30 with it. Three or four Elks defenders though. Number 50 attributed with the tackle, Mr. Jacob Gray. 
going to be third and long for the Roadrunners. Clock should run. You can tell the referee doesn't want to stay out here all day. Well, that and the JV's got a game coming up next. We're going to call it about third and 20 for the Roadrunners. Their offensive line rivals, I think, the Elks varsity line. I'm not going to lie to you. they got a couple kids right there. No, it's, that's not mean. That's a compliment to their old line right there. Some solid kids on the left side. I bet we see the Roadrunners run to the left a bunch. Look at that right there. Number 30 finds that hole. He's going to get a couple on the play, maybe a little bit. 62. Looking for number 62, Albert Compost attributed with the tackle for the Round Valley Elks. Fourth and long. We should see possibly some special teams come out, or the Roadrunners just going to go for it. They're about halfway into the Elks territory here in the first quarter of play. There we go. Brody Finch headed back. We have a punter lined up. See if we can get you a number on that kicker. Brody Craig, that back to receive. 3 0. We got to find out who this number 30 is. He's all over the place. Oh, Holbrook recovered. It's going to be a turnover on downs then if Holbrook recovered. Round Valley ball on about the 26 yard line. We're going to reset the chains. Number 50, Nehemiah Williams, the punter for Holbrook as the Round Valley Oaks offense comes on the field. Oh, he got the ball as well. Offense on the field, first quarter of play. Five and a half minutes. Clock. The whistle starts. Here we go. Cage Finch under center. Ball start against the Round Valley Oaks. We're going to move five and try it again. Little excitement there on the right side of the line. are flying all over the place. We're in bound. They're calling it. Number eight, Casey Finch. Giving those yards. Hello? I believe they're going to give about nine. It's going to be second. Hello? Second and two. Yeah, oh, yeah, well, wait. We're, Hold on. Let me call you back. Not quite sure where we're going to work. It. Second down. Finch under center. Rolls to the left side. Finch sees 23. Yeah, I can hear you. I believe that's going to be third and two. Okay. Two for the Round Valley Elks. 422 left in the first quarter of play. Cage Finch from the shotgun, hands off pretty quick left side. Pretty quick's going to get that first down. So we get it marked, I'm not sure. I think it's going to be first and goal for the Elks. That is it. First and goal from about the six or the seven. Clock will start back up once the ball's placed. Okay, out of, out of ours. Finch from the shotgun, one in the background with him. Bobbin and weaving, coming through. Let's look for the hands in the air. Yes. Yep. Touchdown, Round Valley. 3.59, halfway through the first quarter of play. Brody Crick bobs and weaves in for six. Let's see what the Elks do for their PAT. Cage Finch from the shotgun, Brody Crick in the backfield with him. Finch rolls to the left side. I think he's going to hang on to. He's trying to get around the road runners. 
We should have how many? I'm giving him the eight. Oh, there we go. I'm like, I'm giving him the two before the score did. I thought he got in there. He did. And you add one to the box that will have 18. Okay, but you used one, and that one would have made 20. He's left-handed. Hit a kid square in the back during the last game. Here we go. Four minutes off the clock. Jake making his way out for kick number two. Jake Espana will bake. He's going to get the 10 yards. Road runners will catch. So nice snap. So there was a miss. Okay. And don't forget to hit that share button while you are in between plays here. Let your friends and family know that we're live here on Let's Go Elks. Any road runner fans on here, hit that share button. Let your family know. Bringing the seventh grade action to you live. Hope it's coming through good. We're on a cellular connection again today. It's just how the cookie crumbles, unfortunately, sometimes. Yeah. Okay. Well, it would be easy to make a one a zero. So if you just go do that, then that that's fine. Over offense rolls to the left side. Looks like it'll be a loss of about two on the play. Second and twelve. Sixty-two. Sixty-two with the tackle. Tanner Finch. Also in on the tackle number eighty-eight. Joe Brown. That's fine. Yeah, but don't don't do that. Don't do that until we're all back on next week, though. Okay. Apologize, guys, if we're not getting a lot okay, of video. Okay, that through. sounds good. Ed. We weren't able to get up to the press box until right I know, the game rough. started. Nice snap by Joe it around. It like they that. might have gotten that yard of two back. Right. 11. For you guys, once the quarter's over, we apologize. Run right down to the left side to be a loss on the play, fourth down.
Beast Warrior. You can catch it wherever. I don't know. He, I think I heard him say he's coming back down. Give this another huh? try right yeah. now. Pass to the left side. <laughs> All right, we're going to see if being plugged in, if we're in a better place now. I think I found a port on their switch. That's good. Over from the shotgun. A little fumble the ball. I think they mix up just a little bit. Gonna be about no gain on the play. The whole defensive line up in that action. Second down. 24 seconds left in the first quarter of play. We'll see if the Roadrunners get one more play off before we swap things out here. Just under 10 seconds. I believe I hear the Roadrunner coaches saying to let her run out. I think we're gonna go into the end of the quarter. Here on Valley Oaks up, 14, Roadrunner zero. That's one of the most interesting buzzers I've ever heard in my life before. Woo -hoo. All right, guys, hopefully the connection issues are behind us. I think we've got a way smoother connection going now. We are plugged in. We're bringing you 30 frames of goodness now. You're watching Let's Go Oaks plugged in here at Holbrook.
All right, guys, we're about back for the second quarter here in Holbrook. We're getting sides switched as the Roadrunners try to make their way towards the end zone. Brown Valley's defense back on the field. I'd say things have cooled off nicely, but we're in the shade. It may not be as pleasant for those Brown Valley Oaks in black presently. Since it's right here in front of this camera, it, it's just... It's in the sun. Yeah. Donna, sit right here. Okay. It's kind of in the shade. All right, here we go. Time for the second quarter. Holbrook getting settled. That camera after the play's over. Is it okay? Flag on the play. I mean, it's not All start. It's not pretty, but it's good. We're going to move it back five and try again. Second and 15. It's bad. Steal Dean's hat. That's most of it. Second and 15. Roadrunners from the shotgun. I believe that's number five, the quarterback for the Roadrunners. Yep. Number five, Justin Maestas. Hands off to the first man in the back, the left side. Brown Valley reads it. 32. Number 32 leading off the tackle, J.J. Logan. Another five yard loss on the play. A lot of very excited people, the coach included. The coach is trying to tell them. Rest, kind of rest. The official giving the coach a little bit of a warning, saying there was a an illegal shift. They let the play go, though. Don't think they'll let it go again. Man shifting sides, quarterback in the shotgun position. There's a lot of defense going on. We're going to give it to the man number 30. He's going to get locked up there by J.J. Logan, though. Fourth and about 20 for the Roadrunners. Player down, clock is going to Roadrunner down on the field. Coach is coming out to take a look. Clock's going to stop. It is a nice water break, though. Hopefully, Round Valley takes advantage of that as well. Oh That's good to see. Because of the heat, they're letting them get some water. Round Valley able to head over to the sideline. Going to get a quick water break here. Again, one of the Roadrunner players down. Number 25 for the Roadrunners up. The team clapping for him. He's going to head off to the sidelines and get a little water, get a little break action. He'll be back, hopefully back into the game. Number 25 is Darian Yazi for the Roadrunners. We should see the teams back on the field momentarily. We'll be right back with the second quarter action here in Holbrook. We're not going to have shade much longer. It's coming around the corner. Is he? Oh yeah, there he is. Oh, that, is that him? He's in the green He's in the green shirt. Yep. I don't know if he's getting mad. No, I just, once once it comes around the corner, or we may sneak into the, the situation. All right, guys, we're back at it. 
613 left in the half. Your on Valley Oaks leading 14 to 0. Roadrunners pushing everybody to the right side. Number 30 in the backfield once again apologize. Oh, we do have his Baylor. Baylor Reed had number 30 for the Roadrunners. Made a couple of really solid plays so far. 63 coming out onto the field. Right tackle, kind of need him. Elks defense shifting and ready to go. We're on to the right side. Quick pass to the right side. Round Valley Varsity runs that play. Number 20 with the reception. Going to be just short of the first down. It's going to be fourth. Was that fourth? I thought it was third down. It, they're going to be close. Tanner Finch. Corn dog. I was trying to remember. I couldn't remember. I was going to start calling him Tater Tot or something. I have no idea. It's going to be turnover on downs. Nice reception. You see Round Valley Varsity run that play a lot. Real quick pass to one side or the other. Round Valley's offense back onto the field. Here comes the Roadrunner defense. Cage bench under center. One man in the backfield, number 32, blocking for him. Cage pass to the right side. Kaysen Finch, your intended receiver. I think Kaysen was thinking first down before he had it, just a little bit. It's going to be an incomplete pass, second and 10 for the Rambo Leos. We might lose our scoreboard camera. There's a really big umbrella getting ready to get set up over there. Round Valley pass now to the left side this time. I believe that's caught. It's going to be about nine and a half yard gain on the play. Jake Espana Wiltbank with the reception. Again, his first game. Yeah, damn the truth, man, chiming in. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. That's what it's got to be today. I would believe that it's 90, and those poor kids out there in their black jerseys on. Cage Finch rolling to the right side. Case and Finch again, copy and paste for first down. It's going to be good for a first down. ready to go, waiting for the first down marker to get set so we can keep things going here. 5-18, it's been a long minute of play here in Holbrook. Still five and a half minutes left. Your Ambali Oaks leading 14 to zero. Cage Finch under center. Rolls to the left side with J.J. Logan helping him out. Nice block there. Pass again to Espana. No, that was to number 36, excuse me. 36, Hayes Holsey. Nice reception for the Round Valley Oaks. Going to be second and one. Center's already on it. Getting the ball set where he wants it. Cage Finch back under center. One of the backfield. Rusty McBride far to the right side with Casey Finch. We're pitching. Oh, he's coming back. Here comes J.J. Logan. If he can break that one. He's still on his feet. J.J. coming around. That's a first down. J.J. Logan's got one more to beat. He's going to get brought down. He loses a shoe. I thought it was the football. I thought it was the football. It was not. Knocked his shoes off. And right out of his shoes. Nice run by J.J. Logan, breaking two or three tackles there, staying on his feet. I thought it was going to be a loss of yardage. J.J. taking care of business, though, for a first down. First and 10 from the Roadrunner 20-yard line. Cage Finch. Getting the play. A little bit of communication. Under center. J.J. Logan in the backfield with him. J.J. is going to get the ball to the left side, wrapped up by the Roadrunners defense. Just a slight gain on the play. Second down. Nehemiah Williams with the tackle for the Roadrunners. That's the Holbrook Roadrunner equivalent of my mother down there on the 50-yard line. <laughs> Bless her soul. 
My mom had a sweater, no joke. She still has it, I'm sure, that says, I yell because I care. From the shotgun, Jake is spawning with her on the left side. He doesn't get, get caught up in the backfield. It's going to be good for about five yards. Third down, Round Valley. Sorry, I kind of got distracted. Okay. My bad. <laughs> I, I get it. I uh -huh. do. I have a hard time sometimes. <laughs> Squirrel. Hey, Sterling, do you give mom the live stream link? What's that? Did you give mom the live stream link? No. What time is it over there? Is it already super late? Yeah, she's sleeping. All right. But you know what? She'd probably wake up for it. I can give you the link if you want. Send it to you. JJ Logan cuts back to the right side. He's still on his feet. I think, yeah, we're inside the 10. First down for Round Valley. First and goal. Timeout. Hey, yeah, Wes, if you would send it to me, that's great. Getting it right now. Thank you. Timeout Round Valley. We've got 3.05 left in the first half. There you go, sir. Thank you. This is a test of the emergency broadcast system. <laughs> no, I'm not sure what that squelch was. That was something different, though. That's the tornado warning here in Holbrook. Okay, jokingly but serious, I'm not sure what's going on. This may be like a Red Dawn situation right now, just looking at the, the location that we're in. I'm talking about the old one. Patrick Swayze in the old one, the old Red Dawn. Was that Patrick Swayze? I can't remember. I don't know. I think so. Jan. I don't remember. I'm not surrounded by the same people that appreciate the finer things in life. <laughs> Sorry, honey. Amanda will tell you about the last patient she transferred. HIPAA appropriate, obviously. But All right. Timeout is over. I believe at 3.05 on the clock here in the second quarter of play. Man, I was going to talk to Coach Workman. We'll see if we can't get a kid after the game for a quick interview before we tear down. See if we can make that work from the shotgun. Hands off to Logan. Logan finds his way around the right side. One more to beat. Does he get in? Yeah. Touchdown, Round Valley. Stretches the ball out. Gets it across the goal line. Ref gives him the high sign. PAT on the field. Espanya coming into the game. Will Bank. Yerlk's up by 20. The first two point conversion good. Not making the second one. Just under three minutes playing a half. Let's see what they do with the third one from the shotgun. Cage Finch rolls and tucks. He's going to try to cut up hard. He's got a couple waiting for him. Bob's weaves. I think he gets in there. Let's see if they give it to him. Two points for Round Valley. 2.59 left in the second. Your Elks up 22. Roadrunner zero. You're watching Let's Go Elks on the road. Camera person needs work. I know. <laughs> Dan, Amanda doesn't appreciate your constructive <laughs> criticism. Right now, we had we had fried chicken that was going to run the camera, and he got asked to be the ball boy. So, fried chicken down on the field, getting work done that way. Amanda's getting a little too wrapped up I in the game. I can show him the finger. Hey, this is a family friendly oh, show. All right. <laughs> Unless that finger's number one. I'm pretty it's sure not. that's what you no. want. Dan, you're in number one. Yep, number one in Amanda's eyes. Espanya the kick. Roadrunners not quite ready. They got two deep, three mid. Everybody else lined up, ready to go with the 50-yard line. Let's we'll see what Espanya does with it this time. Flag on the play. Round Valley must have been off sides before the kick was made. Let's see what they call it. His name is Jake Wiltbank. I'm sorry, my son has ruined me. 
My son calls him Espana, and that's all I got. Kicking team's going to come back out. I, was it offsides? I missed the. I, think so. I missed the actual call there. We're going to scoot things back and try things again. Guys, don't forget it's homecoming week in Round Valley. We'll be back live on YouTube and Facebook Friday night starting at 6 p.m. 6 p.m. Arizona time as the Round Valley Oaks host the Chin Lee Wildcats for homecoming. You'll have Ethan and Dan on that one. I'll be on the mic in the dome. We'll put together a good show for you there. Jake Wiltbank getting ready to kick from the 35 this time. And since the 45, everybody scooted up five yards. Yeah, Hobart realizing they can scoot up just a little bit if they want. Here we go. Jake kicks it to the side. That's over 10 yards. Now does the ball have to bounce on the ground or does it just have to travel 10 yards? It was still in the air, snagged out of the air by Brody Crick. There's a flag on the play. Let's see what the officials say. Dan, the truth, man, if you're watching, does the ball have to touch the ground before that starts? Lance Rustin's number 40. Rustin is number 4-0. Did my mic stop working? No, Dan's telling us that it only has to travel 10 yards, does not have to touch the ground. I'm not sure what they're bringing it back for. Coach Workman communicating with Jake. Kicking team's going to be out again. Not sure where we're backing it up to this time. All right, here we go. We're going to try this again. Jake Wiltbank getting ready to kick off for Round Valley. Jake Wiltbank again with the kick. It's traveled 10 yards. Holbrook does get it. They're going to get down to about the 38-yard line. Got a Javier Castillo watching. Do we know who that is? Skirt, there you go. She said she wasn't, but she's got a shift this morning, but I knew she couldn't resist. <laughs> That's awesome. Who can sleep when you can watch seventh grade football? Let's let's go. All right, we're going to give this a shot again. Turn up the mic just a little bit. Let me know if you can hear it. If it's too loud, we'll try to turn it down. I'll give it a little check myself. Roadrunner offense, they're falling on it. I see some people down. Maybe a loss of a yard on the play. Did we recover? The chain gang is telling me that Round Valley recovered, but I'm not sure what we got going on yet. Okay. 
interesting little information for you that Dan says the only way that would be a penalty is if the kicker would be the first person to kick the ball after the kick is made, and then it would be a penalty. Somebody else has to touch the ball after the kicker touches. We've got a timeout, Holbrook, 208 left in the half. So the kicker has to touch the ball first? No, can't. Oh, he can't. That was in the old days. Yeah, Dan, I went and turned it up and put it on manual. We're going to turn her down just a poquito here. Let's get it back to there. We're going to try that again. Check one, two on the mic. What's up, Wayne? So that was back in the old days. Is it? Wayne Wiltbanks just calling Dan the Truth Man old. That's what I'm getting right here from the bleachers. He said that's how they did it back in the 40s with them leather helmets. I don't know what's going on right here. about 30 seconds on the clock because they didn't stop it when we changed the set. We got that. They did not get it. You're thirsty. All right, we're back on the field. First down, Round Valley does recover that ball. A little bit of loose ball action. Number 50 getting set for the Roadrunners. It's okay. Just read. Just oh, it's still. You're good. It's actually still pretty good. Hey, Will. What's he doing? What's going on? Is he going to go get me a hat? Yes, I love it. Cage Finch under center. First and 10 for Round Valley. 208 left in the half. The Elks trying to put another six or eight on the board before we go in for halftime. Holbrook calling their defense to the right side. They're a little smashed up to the right. Cage Wiltbank rolling to the right. Rustin McBride. Intended receiver. Defense by number five. Man, did you miss it? Yes, because I was watching the stupid games. <laughs> Cage Finch now rolling to the left side, second and ten. Slap down again by number five, Justin Maestas. It's going to be third and ten. Maddie, you're going to get fired. Sunblock, too. Sunblock. Send go. See you later. You have to bring me the keys back. So bring me that up. Third and ten for the Elks. Elks offense coming back onto the field. Need a quick huddle. Quick play call from Round Valley. There we go. Not sure what we have left on the play clock. The refs counting it down. Send the man in motion. Brody Crick snaps good. Brody Crick rolling to the right side. He's going to cut around. Gets tripped up, though. Gain of about two on the play, maybe three. Fourth down for Round Valley as the clock rolls. Under two minutes of play left in the half. Timeout Round Valley, 140. Well, we're just going to let the clock run just a little bit here. Well, we're going to call it 137 left on the clock instead of 144. Water coming out for both teams. Again, it's a toasty, toasty day here. You know what, Dan? I'm actually really disappointed. I thought this was going to be up on your television, that sweet mounted goodness that you got in the office there. But, hey, the surface will work too. I honestly don't know what that is. That noise is awesome. must be the timeout's over. It's an earthquake warning, I think is what it is. I mean, right? I'm not sure what's going to happen here in a minute. 137 left in the half. Your Oaks lead 22 to 0 against the Holbrook Roadrunners. From the shotgun. Oaks heavy to the right side. Rolling to the right side. JJ Logan looking. Passes up. JJ Logan was the intended receiver. Incomplete. Nobody can see anything. Right into the sun. Yeah, pretty sure nobody, offense or defense, could see what was going on there. Way too much sun that way. 
131 left in the half. Holbrook's offense coming back onto the field. Not long ago, Holbrook tried with a first down situation, fumbled and lost it. Round Valley in four plays. Turn it back over. First and 10 from the 44 yard line. Roadrunners pushing to the right side. Nice from the shotgun with the clap. Looking at the left side, 88's open, no. Brody Crick with the interception. He's gonna try to cut up. He's gonna get to the 40 yard line. Ball is down, we're gonna stop the clock. Round Valley's gonna recover in Roadrunner territory on their 40. 122 left in the half. You guys let us know in the comments. Amanda thinks she got that one. I don't think Rustin was on the field, that might be why. This is like 99% my fault, I apologize. Cage Finch under center. Logan in the backfield. We're rolling to the left side. I think Finch might tuck and run. No, it's Spagna. Intended receiver, incomplete pass. 117 left on the clock. Finch from the shotgun. Brody Crick in the backfield with him. Heavy to the right side, pitch to Crick. Crick's looking for a hole, he finds one. Nice block all over the place by the Round Valley Elks. Crick is gonna find himself in the end zone for an Elks. Touchdown. Bob and Weave all over the place. I'd go, watch, go back and watch that replay. Nice run, number 15, Brody Crick. From the shotgun, hands off to Logan. Logan running right up the middle, trying to head to the right side. I, no, he makes it. He's in there. Round Valley Elks up 30 to 0 against the Holbrook Roadrunners. One minute, seven seconds left in the half. You're watching Let's Go Elks. Much better, Dan. Got your second picture. It's looking sharp, looking good. You must have a really good IT guy. Jake Wiltbank. Again, nice deep kick. It's going to bounce the cell in play. Brody Crick almost getting to it. Nice kick, Jake. Holbrook Roadrunner is going to get it on about their own 28-yard line. Just a minute left to play here in the half. Holbrook getting a play ready, just a minute left. Roadrunners yet to score this afternoon. 
The Wednesday game's just a little bit different. We got our schedule just a little bit shifted around. Uh, as I understand it, it's the fair here in Holbrook, just like it was in Round Valley. So I think we're scooting everything up a day so they can enjoy their fair this weekend. Hey, Wes, everybody in Spain is saying how amazing the production is. <laughs> Muchísimas gracias. Por su soporto. I could announce it like soccer if you'd like. Otra vez, aquí estamos los roadrunners en la offense. Bueno, pero bien rápido. En los rojos, oh my goodness. I just don't know if I have that wind in me right now to yell golazo for like a year and a half. Oh, you will, you will. All right, it's coming. Rowdy's watching. Last time I was here four years ago, Rowdy was playing. <laughs> Encroachment against Round Valley. First and five, we're going to scoot things up and try it again. Minute six left. Amanda, just just so you know, the people of Spain love you. They they appreciate your work. So thank you, thank you. First and five for the Roadrunners. Roadrunners loaded up heavy to the left side. He's Round Valley wraps up hard. Yeah. Big loss on the play. Round Valley recovers, I believe. Oh, man. Go back and watch that replay, Elks fans. We're going to swap the chains and get it ready. One minute left. I think what they like is the blonde hair. Can't they can't see her. They can't see her. What if they could get like it? I've been told, I've been told by my grandma, Wiltbank, that the people of Spain really love the camera woman's blonde hair, even though they haven't seen her yet today. <laughs> I'll take it. I, I think it makes sense. All right. All right, Round Valley's offense back on the field. Cage from the shotgun. J.J. Logan with him. Logan's going to get it. We're headed to the right side. He's trying to shake one. Gets wrapped up by the second. Sat on by the third. Second down. Gain of about five on the play. You didn't get ahead, too? Good job, Jay! Half a minute left. See if Round Valley is going to call a timeout here. They are going to try to save some of that clock. 31 1 left in the half. Just seven. Just seven. Great. Oh, right on. Um, my boy and Ty are friends. Play baseball together. Play I don't he's a good boy. I'm sure you're just Yeah. Yeah, we really like Ty. Yes, sir. I hear you. I see it. Sir, that's you. Number 40. Yep. Go and get out here. I was talking to Lori Lighting. How many miles on it? I'm soccer field. The kid gets the gun. And I said, Lori, well, let, let him experience it and let him choose. I said, I feel the same way. He sees the strategy of the game. We'll see what he picks, you know? Like, we'll see where it goes. Oh, yeah. I mean, oh, my God. So, Jakey! I'll have to see how hot it is. When it's cooled off in the booth, we may switch. Then I'll give you my hat. Round Valley Oaks offense back on after the timeout. Once again, 31 1 left in the half. Your Oaks up 30 to 0. Here is the whistle. Second and five. Cage Finch from the shotgun. Brody Crick back now with him. Bad snap. Finch is going to lay on it. The clock is going to run. Elks are going to have to get up and get ready. I would say copy and place to run the same play again. Nothing changes. Third down on the ball. We've eaten about 15 seconds left on the clock. This may be the last play of the half. Cage now under center. 77 trying to hurry off for the Roadrunners. Cage keeps it right up the middle. 
That's going to end it for halftime, Elks fans. After 16 minutes of play, your Elks lead 30 to 0. We'll be back in about 10 minutes. You're watching Let's Go Elks. All right, ladies and gentlemen, a little bit of halftime goodness for you right now. Joined by Mr. Sterling Wiltbank as I walk around to get into frame. Sterling, how you doing, sir? Doing well, doing well. So you're visiting. I mean, you got some frequent flyer miles. Sterling, where's home? Home is where my beautiful family is. Ooh. Right now it's in a few different places. So, no, Spain, yep. Right on, so we got some viewers watching from Spain and Chile today. Yep. Is there anything you want to say to your family? Quiero decir hola a la abuela. Oh. In Chile, hola abuela, and Rowdy James in Barcelona, what's up Rowdy, and my beautiful wife in Galicia. Wow, so you get, we got family all over the place watching right now, thanks for joining us. And everybody says that this guy is doing an amazing job, and we like to thank Wes for all of this time and equipment and awesomeness out here. So. No sure, we're having a good time. Thanks, and this, man. this is my favorite thing to be honest, is when families can connect from over the world. We had, during a playoff game one time, we were playing ALA, a Lutheran school in the Valley, and they had, uh, one of their players had a mom that was deployed in an undisclosed location in the Middle East, and I can't remember how we heard about it, but I went and got dad and 
watching their kid from the stands. We put dad and they were talking on the live stream. That is it crazy. Just, so it's stuff like that, man, that just connects. And so this is one of those stories. Yeah. Well, it's not that cool, but oh, definitely it's Oh, cool it absolutely is. Well, thanks for joining us. Yeah. You guys are here for a little bit longer? Yeah, a few more weeks till the Oak Stop Bugling. Oh, there we go. And then you're headed back home. Yep. Sterling, thanks, hey, sir. Hey, thank you, Wes. Hey, guys, we're a few minutes away. We'll be right back for the second half here on Let's Go Elks. All right. Oh, no, that's yeah. not going to stay. I know.
man, I think all of that that I just said didn't get used because I had the wrong audio input. I just talked in Spanish for like three minutes. Yeah, Dan, I just noticed I was using the wrong audio input. Round Dolly with the reception. I kid you not. I just talked in Spanish that entire time, and you guys missed it. Hey, I'm impressed, man. <laughs> I'm so sad because there's no proof. It's all gone. It's all gone. Dude, you have to start recording these live feeds. No, we do record them. We hang on to them all. I just had the wrong, wrong audio, audio input. input. Like. That's all right. That's all right. Now, now all the Chileans and Spaniards can't make fun of me though for my Spanish. That's okay. <laughs> Here we go. Finch under center pitches right side. Brody Crick with it. Brody's gonna come around the side. He's got 15 to beat. Touchdown, Round Valley. The, car the Cardinals. Yeah, the Arizona Jay, Cardinals right day. there yeah. because they set up after we got here, so we apologize. Yeah, I have no idea what just happened. Here we go. Cage Finch rolls to the left side after the touchdown. Tries to find. Nice job. Trying to find the number on who that was. 30, 35. 35 Porter Myers, the intended receiver. It's going to be slapped down by the Roadrunners. 706 left in the third quarter play around Valley Oaks. 36. Roadrunners, zero. Yeah, out of nowhere, a keyboard popped up on our streaming device and wasn't doing anything, though, so I couldn't get it to go away. It was totally bizarre. So I apologize for whatever you lost right there. It was not intentional. One of those days. Elk's out to kick. Round Valley's kicking team out, getting ready to start things off. We're on the 40. Let's see if we move. Elks with a little bit of trouble in the penalty situation the next time the Elks kick. On the kicking team, let's see who we can get. We got Andrew Bolin. We got number 45, Blake Tom. Rustin McBride, number 35. Porter Myers, number 30, Bentley Wilkins. We got Jake Espana, Wiltbank kicking the ball. We got number 65, Gavin Udall. I missed that one number. 61 it is. Picked up by the Roadrunners. Nice snag and a tackle by Brody, Finn, yeah, Brody. By Brody Crick. Number 61, David McNeil also on the kicking team. Sorry, I missed a few on the other side. We'll try to get it next time. The clock is moving. Elks defense on the field. Holbrook from the shotgun. Justin's got one in the backfield with him. I believe it's Justin. Quarterback's going to hang on to it on the right side. Gets by one, gets by two, gets about three on the play, second down. 32, J.J. Logan, 35, Porter Myers in on the tackles for the Round Valley Elks. Second down.
start against the road runners we're going to scoot it back so it's going to be third and 12. 454 left in the third quarter play as the clock runs here we go road runners from the shotgun two on the left side as they're looking that way quick pass intercepted Almost by J.J. Logan. He had the end zone in his eyes, I think, was the problem there. It happens. It happens. Fourth and 12 for the Roadrunners. They're going for it. Inside Elk Territory. All right, so we're going to leave it right where it is and try again. Fourth down opportunity right here. Shotgun rolls to the left side. He's got running room. Brody Crick wraps him up hard, gets brought down. It's going to be a turnover on downs as the Elks recover on the 36-yard line. I believe that was fourth down. Am I losing it? Probably lost it a long time ago. Elks offense coming on the field. We should be swapping things off. There's Fried Chicken McBride on the field bringing the ball in. It's going to be first and 10 going the other way on the Roadrunner 36 yard line. First and 10 for the Elks, rolling to the right side. Number 32 is going to be brought down about where he started. Number 15 accredited with the tackle for the road runners, Tidlin Larson. J.J. Logan again now from the left side with a spin move. He's down. Going to get about five on the play, third and five for the Elks. Taking down number 5-0 for the Roadrunners, looking for number 5-0, Nehemiah Williams. Kaysen Finch now quarterback for the Round Valley Elks, number eight. Hands off to Brody Crick. Brody Crick with all the room in the world. It's going to be another touchdown for the Round Valley Elks. 140 left in the third quarter of play. Your Elks up 42 to zero. Um, yeah, as long as they call it. It's 42. 42 points on the board is the spread right now. That will start a rolling clock. So you should see a pretty quick third and fourth quarter now. Clock will still stop at very few times. Timeouts can stop the clock. The clock will run for a lot of the time. Now. K 
Cason Finch, quarterback for the Round Valley Elks, lines up for the PAT. Elks go for two. Quick pass up the middle. I think Joa Brown was the intended receiver there for the two-point conversion. As the clock rolls, we may not see a kickoff before the fourth quarter. You're watching Let's Go Elks. You're on by Elks lead, 42-0 to zero here in Holbrook. That's going to complete the third quarter of play here in Holbrook. One of my favorite venues. I'm not going to lie. I love how it's set into the rocks right here. I was saying before the game, you could do some really cool stuff projecting on those rocks. Um, you could throw across the field and do some cool, like, pregame projection stuff with the lights off. Well, Elks fans, we're going to start every quarter off with a kickoff, except for the second. Fourth quarter, we're going to start with a kickoff. we got Jake Wiltbank, Mr. Espana. Once again, your Round Valley kicking team. Wiltbank with the kick to the right side. It's going to bounce out of bounds around the 40. Let's see where we mark it. Roadrunner offense on the field. <laughs> Don't forget to join us this Friday on Let's Go Elks on YouTube and Facebook as we crown this year's homecoming royalty as the Round Valley Elks face off against the Chinley Wildcats. In the Dome, starting at 6 p.m., not 7. So be ready for a little bit earlier kickoff time. We'll live about a quarter to 6. A little bit earlier if we can for some pregame for you. And we'll kick things off 6 p.m. in the Dome against Chen Li. Following week, we will be at home again against Monument Valley. So stay tuned. You'll, let's go out. So we'll have your coverage there. And then we're going to go on the road to Payson. Clock is running. We're at seven minutes left. Quarterback's going to hang on to it. Rolls to the right side. He's able to get past a tackle. He found some running room. He's headed upfield. Holbrook will not be shut out today. I don't see any laundry on the field. The Roadrunners loud and proud as they put six on the board here in the fourth quarter. Once that 42-point mercy rule is hit, the clock does not stop if it goes under that 42 points again. So the clock is rolling. There we go. The Holbrook Roadrunners getting two more points. Six minutes left as the Oaks lead 42-8 to eight here in Holbrook.
Nice kick by the Roadrunners. It's going to get picked up by Brody Crick. Brody Crick's going to find his way up the left side. Nice block there. Number 36 with the block affords Mr. Crick. Another bunch of yards. Huge block. I believe that's that 68 right there. Number 68, Tyler Williams, the man that made the six points happen for Round Valley. Nice blocking by the kick team. I'd go back and watch that replay and look at all those sweet blocks. I can't watch it. I have to watch it statistically. Oh. I miss it all. You'll see it later. I watch yeah, it. <laughs> Kaysen Finch receives the snap from the shotgun, rolls to the right side, finds his man in the corner, left-handed. That's going to be good for two points. Jake will bank. Two more points for the Round Valley Elks. The score now 50-8. to eight. Just over three minutes left in the ballgame. Continues to roll the Round Valley Elks on the field. Holbrook kicking team getting set. See how much more action we can get here in Holbrook. JV playing right after this. The Holbrook JV's playing. I'm not sure who they're playing. So we're going to have to tear down and get the Yeehaw out of here as quick as we can. Jake Wilbank with a kick to the right side. Picked up by the Roadrunners. Roadrunners on the move. Number 12 with it. Number 12 is going to get almost to the 45-yard line. Guys, we'll stay live as soon as the game's over in 90 seconds. We're going to try to grab an interview or two. If I can find a gate, I don't know if there's an easy way for me to get down on the field, but we'll see what we can do right after the game's over. Number 30 with it up the left side is going to get about six yards on the play. Second down, maybe closer to seven, right to the 40-yard line. Just under a minute now here in the dome. In the dome, wow. That only slipped once here. It's kind of, it's kind of, it's, 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 a, it's like a cereal ball. It's the other way. Probably one play, maybe two left here in Holbrook. Number five rolls. He's got pressure. First down. Clock will stop. 14.4 seconds left in the ball game. Penalty on the field. We're going to see what's up with that.
penalty against the road runners. We're scooting things way back, third down. It's going to be about third and 15, 14 seconds left. One more chance for Holbrook right here. From the shotgun, Justin gets locked up. Whistle is going to stop things, guys, and that's going to finish the game. At the end of four quarters, you're around Valley Elks with the W, 50 to eight. Number 50 attributed with the last tackle, Jacob Gray. All right, guys, give me just a second. We'll see if we can't make some post-game interview goodness happen. You're watching Let's Go Elks. take too too long I'm gonna try to go do an interview oh, wow. what I'll what I'll what I'll have you do you're gonna zoom to zoom way into wherever I'm at you're gonna get the microphone put this on speaker when I call it and just put the mic up against it'll be well just listen you'll hear where the sounds coming out Aww. Three days ago. She had, was over there with her for two weeks. Wow. She had some really aggressive cancer. We don't have it here. I'm like right there, so it's fine. Okay. Are you zoomed in all the way? No. 
Okay. I'll zoom in further when I get you guys. All right. I was just heard from Wes that as soon as the coach is done talking to the kids, he's going to interview. So hang on the stream for just a few more minutes. Okay, we're about ready. Okay, I'm ready. All right. Hey, Jake. 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 Can I vote you for a second? Amanda, are you ready? Yep, ready. Okay. All right, are we on speaker, Amanda? We good to go? You are good to go. Microphone's turned on. Yes, sir. All right, I'm going to do this action right here. Guys, I'm joined by the player of the game, number 23, number one in your heart, Jake Espana Wilbank. Jake, how you doing, sir? Oh, very good. So I know it's way up there, but you can see the camera up there on the top getting waved at you right now. Tell us about the game today. This is your first game of American football, correct? Yeah, it was very awesome. I feel like uh, I could have done better, but... You know, it is what it is, and we played our best, and we did what we had to do. Highlight of the game for you. Was it kicking? Was it off? You were all over the place today. What was your favorite part of the game today? My favorite part of the game was catching the ball. All right, and who's this? Introduce this one to us. Uh, this is my little brother, Maximus. Maximus, do you want to say hi? I like it. That's, that's, that's what I'm talking about right there. Jake, you've got family watching from Spain, family watching from Chile. Give them some shout outs, give them some love. Oh, uh, hey guys. I uh, love you all. Thank you for all the support you give me. And it was really fun playing this game. I liked it a lot. Thank you guys. Right on, guys. Jake Espana Wilbank, player of the game from Let's Go Elks here in Holbrook. Congratulations, sir. Well done. Have a good trip home. From Holbrook, this has been Let's Go Elks. You guys have a good one. Be safe. Make good choices. That was cool. That was cool. And then a little teary. What? Did he just get here from? So, is the camera still on? It is, but I don't know if I don't know. I mean, yeah, just go across. It's fine. Hello. Okay. We're gonna jet. All right. Thanks for coming, guys.